Thank you. Uh, Minister, of course, an absolutely horrific attack on Parnell Street, I know, for a young girl and the victims, the family, the school. Really thanks to the bravery of those who intervened, who acted on instinct. And to know that it was both people who've been here for generations in Ireland, as well as people who've moved to this country, who were involved in supporting and intervening and getting involved and trying to save, uh, save young people in Parnell Street. Then what happened afterwards, these absolute riots, riots, thugs who made an attack on our capital city, our guards, who attacked people in our transport services, the Lewis, the bus. Um, this is an attack on our democracy. And we stand behind our Minister for Justice when we have an attack on our democracy. We stand behind the Minister for Justice. We stand together, united and in solidarity. And that is what we, as public representatives here in this country, Ireland, that is a democracy, is doing. And I, to my mind, what we are seeing here is pure hatred. Hatred that is driving the actions and behaviours of people in our capital city. These are unprecedented events, and there is not one that can say in this house that they would have seen something like this happen. Um, Minister, Dublin One was my home for seven or eight years, and I walked in and out of the city, and I lived on the North Circular Road near Summer Hill, and I loved living close to the city. I loved the freedom it gave. I loved the fact that I could move freely myself. It is heartbreaking to hear that that happened in Dublin One. And I understand that Dublin city centre is a home to so many, from so many different backgrounds and so many different nationalities, and particularly in Dublin One. Um, it is a mix of so many and it has so much to offer. Uh, but the challenge we have now is this, this perception, this now feeling that safety is, is at stake. Minister, I know that in terms of what you are driving as a Minister for Justice, is around hatred legislation. What we see here is very much us and them. Us and them, that's what it comes down to. That's in a very simple way. But we see our schools now, 30, 30 odd different nationalities, and I'm speaking about a small town in the west of Ireland. We see in our childcare, our schools, in our healthcare, when we go to, to any of our services, we have so many people that are supporting us here in Ireland. If we didn't have that, as has been said by speakers before us, our country would fall apart. Minister, this hatred, this is what we stand against. <laughs> and every single day that we are in here, we will stand against hatred. Thank you. Senator Dolan.